Hi, I'm Charles from Beyond Tools. We're going to go through basic functions on how to use the machine, changing blades, uh, controls, things like that. So we start with your main power isolator is on the back here. So at the end of each day um, and the start, you flick this one on here and you can see it's got the little on symbol there. That'll put power to the machine. You're ready to go. Each day you should uh, turn this on and off. Now we've also, you can see there's an emergency stop button here, which when it's pushed in, it's active and we just twist it and it releases it. There are two emergency stops on the machine. One on the back and this one on the front. So same thing, push it in, it's active, release it and um, twist it and then it will release itself. A basic on button, your main blade. And then you've got an off here, which will turn off the main blade. And then we've got our scoring blade here, which won't turn on until our main blade is on. That won't do anything. So if we turn it back on again. Just a second. Scribe blade will not start until the motor has got to full power and then you can turn that on. So now your scribe blade is on. And if you want to independently turn the scribe blade off, just hit the off button there. Or if you do both, want both off, just hit the main off button. You can see we've got uh, electric rise and fall here, where you just hold the button down to where you want to go and that'll move the blade. And then we've also got our tilting function here, electric. So you can tilt that, hold that over, and that'll tilt over. You've got your digital readout, which reads the, the degrees that you're on. You can stop that wherever you like. So we go back to zero. Okay. Um, so yeah, that's our basic controls, pretty simple. Um, if you do ever find that the machine is not turning on, it could be a few things. Your emergency stop may be pushed in, uh, or your blade guard may also be open. So we can show that there. There's a magnetic blade guard here, so that's just held on by a magnet. When this is open, the machine is isolated, so it won't turn on. So just be careful that you haven't forgotten to not put this back up when you change your blades or do a clean or anything like that. Just put it back up and that'll close it off. So we'll do a blade change. So Okay, so we've got our toolkit, which comes in the machine. Okay, so to take off our main blade, we've got an Allen key here. Now it's always best to get a bit of compressed air and just clean out the hole before you put the Allen key in, just to get any dirt and debris out. So that'll go onto there. Then we use our 30 mil on this side. And the blade comes off the same way, the nut comes off the same way the blade spins. Whenever you are putting a new blade on, just be careful to make sure you always give it a bit of a clean with a, a rag or something, just to get any dirt and debris off. That'll locate straight back on. And then when we tighten it up, you don't need to over tighten it, just hold it. And then just all we need is a little nip like that. And that's it because it is self tightening. For our scoring blade, we use the same spanner, just the opposite end and get our little 13 mil. So that will just go into there, squeeze it together. Again, nut comes off the same way the blade spins. And 
And on this machine, we've got a split scribe system. Okay, so just put that back on. Same as the main blade, just nip it up. Doesn't need to be over tightened, it's just going to make it harder for you. Know, if you do. Okay. Remember to close your blade guard there. Now, uh, also with this machine with the overhead guard, you can move it and lower it to position so you can fix it so it sits above the panel that you're running um, to keep it always nice and safe for the operator. At the moment, We've got our blade guard, our 45 degree cover on, which is our larger guard. So when we tilt the blade over that we can still have the blade down, the cover down nice and low, and it will you know, prevent the operator from hitting, getting their fingers or anything like that. Okay. Another thing we can do with this machine is we can lift up the guard, loosen this lever off, and we can flip the guard out of the way. Sometimes that makes it easier when you're changing the blades over because then it gives you a bit of extra room. So you can also do that. In here we've got our um, cover for our belt tension. So we've got a three speeds on this machine and it's got a safety on it as well. So when this is open, the machine won't operate and you can tension your belts and things like that from there. Okay. Now we'll come back around this side and we'll go through the scribing blade adjustment. So down here we've got our scribe blade up and down adjustment. You can see we've got a little indicator here so we've got a locking knob at the front here and then our main knob to adjust. So if we loosen off the locking knob and turn that, you can see the scribe blade will come up. And generally we only set that a few mil into the panel. And then when we've got it to our set height we want, we just lock the knob off and then that'll prevent it from vibrating loose or anything like that. Left and right adjustment for the scribing blade. It's just adjusted by this one here. So again, we've got, it's a little bit hard to see, but there's a little picture down there which does illustrate how to do it. And we'll just find the correct Allen key. So we put that in there and then we adjust it clockwise or anti-clockwise to move the scribe blade in and out, uh, left and right, sorry, so we can line it up with the main blade. I won't adjust that now because that's all been set, but uh, yeah, it's quite a firm adjustment so it is nice and accurate, nice and positive. Okay. Uh, sliding table locking can be locked just down here, you've got your lock, so you flick that down, that'll lock the sliding table. It's got multiple locking positions, so you can lock it really wherever you like. You can see across here, we've got these notches which run all the way down the sliding table, so you've got multiple places you can lock it in from. Our rip fence, so um, on this machine, we've got a digital display that when we move the fence it'll turn on it has a, a battery saving mode so it'll turn off after five minutes of not being used but basically when we're using this we just lock that down that'll lock the rip fence at the position we want if we want to use our micro adjustment then we can lock this one off first and then we can adjust and you can see we've got a micro adjustment 
and you can probably just see down here you can move it a, a really small movements at a time if you need to dial it in nice and tight and then we lock it off with that main one of course when we want to loosen it off lift that one up undo that one and then we can move that to wherever we need to go we can also move our rip fence up or down and even turn it on its side for when we're doing 45s and we need to get nice and close to the blade then that allows us to get nice and close in there um, push stick just down here for safety so that just conveniently hangs there makes it nice and easy for you okay we'll come over to the cross cut fence So um, same with this, we've got three digital stops. They're off at the moment. When we loosen it off and we touch them, they'll turn on. And there is a little, if we push the enter key, it will also turn a light on, which can make it a little bit easier for you to see. So yeah, three stops, uh, one on the extension fence there. So we can extend that out. Now, if we want to do a 45 miters, we loosen off this lock here. Loosen down here. And now we've got a gauge here and we can set our miter and do our angles and things like that. So depending on uh, what we want to do, we can set the angle to, to do our cuts. And if we want to go the other way, we undo these two bolts here and that comes off and it locks into this pin and then it pivots the other way. So you can do miters each way. Okay, when you want to lock that back, just keep that loose. Make sure the bolt down here is nice and clean because that is where the fence is going to lock back into position. Push against there, lock the lever, tighten up this knob here, and then just this one here. And now we're back square again and ready to use in our normal function. So that's sort of about everything, just running through your basic functions and uses of the machine. Um, so general maintenance on the machine, air compressor with a blow gun, blow it down regularly, uh, keep it clean, get all the debris out, if that's sawdust, um, just wipe the tables down, don't rub any um, chemicals or anything onto it, just wipe them with a dry rag and then you can spray a little bit of CRC or inox on your rag and then just give it a slight wipe. Thanks for listening and uh, see you next time.